a quick three minute summary of telephones in Australia. As you know, up until about the 1990s, yes, that late, we used to have completely manual exchanges where every house had a telephone with a small battery attached to the wall or inside the phone. You used to dial up the exchange by ringing a bit, by twisting a handle. It woke up the operator who then connected you to the other end. So it plugged you into there. And then each handset had in it a earpiece or a speaker and a microphone. You spoke in the microphone, you sent an electrical signal to this speaker, it came back the other way. When they spoke, it went to your speaker. It took a long time to get um, automated in Australia. From memory, I think it was about 1992 or so when they finally decommissioned the last exchange. I think it was in New South Wales, I think it was Tibberborough. Um, I know when I was living in Colorenabri, in Burke, in Berry, in a lot of the towns around the Central West, um, we all still had manual exchanges. And I can remember I was Colorenabri 17. That one I can remember. I can't remember any of the others. So that is a manual exchange. Of course, you've probably heard the story through your teacher, an undertaker in America called Straucher invented the first automatic telephone system simply because there were two undertakers in town and his wife, uh, the wife of his opposition used to be the person connecting all the phone calls so he didn't have any business. So what did he do? He invented a way to automatically dial people and make sure that he bypassed the interference in his business. So. He invented an automatic way to switch two telephones together. That's when you see on the old school movies, people dialing on a round dial, clicking back. Every click, it's counting one plus the number. So if you dial one, it's two clicks. If you dial zero, it's 11 clicks. Dial nine, it was 10 clicks. And each one of those clicks, it was switching a um, automatic um, connection in the telephone exchange to get you to where you wanted to be. So that's the old school copper line. As you know, twisted pairs were used to transmit to minimise crosstalk. Mobile phones used to be a straight radio up until about 94. Um, somebody actually recorded one of our politicians um, not saying very nice things about his um, other people in his party. And um, about that time the um, decision was made that we were going to go to digital communication. Analog, we'd run out of analog phone radios anyway. Um, there were too many mobile phones and not enough radio connections in the mobile phone towers at this point. Mobile uh, radio phones were popular, but the first mobile phones weren't digital, they were analog, they were a radio, a portable radio. I'll put some links in the um, video down below this eventually just to. Um, the old Telstra ads explaining how things worked. These days, we use digital communication. A few key things. Voice is low frequency, only up to 8,000 hertz. When it's sampled, they get rid of everything above 8,000 hertz. ADSL, broadband, there's a filter on your line that throws away everything above 8,000 hertz. I'll get one in a second and I'll put it in this point in the video. So, they don't sample from 20 to 20,000 hertz, they only sample digitally. Up to 8,000 because above that they say is not speech and phones are for speaking. The other thing, just being speech, you don't need 64,000 level, 64, levels of sound variation. So they only sample it at 256. It gets transmitted using code division multiple access, time division multiple access, same thing, I'll explain that, and frequency. Frequency will take a little bit, but I'll explain that as well. So code division or time division means they, the mobile phone tower sends out a signal every so often. And of that time period, your mobile phone is only allocated a tiny bit. Tiny bit for download to your phone, tiny bit for upload back. At the very start of that packet, there's a window saying this is your time. 
It sends it out to your phone, your phone waits the appropriate number of microseconds, it sends its signal back out. So time division means on the one carrier frequency you can have, I'm going to pick a number, 64, 256, 1028 mobile phones, each talking to the same phone tower. Why? Because it says, I'm sending out this signal to all of you because it just sits there in the middle and broadcasts randomly. But if this is your SIM card number, you only need to listen to this little fraction. So it's time division. Frequency division, it actually sends, when you send out something on a frequency, it generates interference sidebands like this. They're clever about it, they put another one, I'll pick a different colour. It basically goes underneath there and underneath there. Then they put a third one, I'll pick another colour. And by playing around with all those sidebands and the interference, they can actually carry a lot of information on that. If you wonder how 5G works, 5G uses frequency division. That is, in, you're capable of carrying incredibly high amounts of information using frequency division. Mobile phones use time division multiple access, code division multiple access. They say, we are transmitting over this time, but your phone only gets this little bit of it, some for upload, some for download. I've already explained how, audios, how audio is modulated previously when I was looking at the AAC modulation used in digital radio. Same thing here on phones, but a lot smaller because it's a lot less frequency, a lot smaller frequency range, a lot less values, so you can put a lot more information into the same bandwidth.